Hey everybody. So if you look on my channel, I made videos about this like literally about two years ago. Like I think like two years ago to the day around this particular topic and uh, studying that I am and was and have been short NVIDIA, right? I like I've been like uh one of the most like vocal opponents of the like rise in NVIDIA valuation over the last few years. And I have flat out stated that I don't understand the uh, exact rise itself. And I think that the market itself doesn't understand the dynamics behind GPUs, behind NVIDIA, et cetera, in order to like uh, evaluate and value NVIDIA the way that it does and has been. And I've been pointing these things out now for two years. So diving into this, this is an article that just came out today. Pure coincidence, surely not. Hawaii launches its fastest AI chip ever as U.S. bans export of popular China-only NVIDIA H20. And then NVIDIA is taking a $5.5 billion hit from new U.S. restrictions on China. But the bottom line here and the big headline is, is that Hawaii is uh, launching a chip and it's it's um, it's it's fastest AI chip ever. And then when you break that down, so uh, the U.S. has a band like um, and NVIDIA's H20. So before it was the H20 chip that was the like the the uh, best chip that you get within China, like uh, because of sanctions and, and et cetera. But this Ascend 920 AI chip is equivalent to an H100 or better than an H100, which is, again, better than the chips that they had access to because before this most recent ban, they had access to H20 chips. And then so this chip can be out an H100. And then, it, like, I mean, simple math, right? H20 compared to H100, I think you can see that one is better than the other, right? So the H100 models are, are significantly better than these models that they had access to before. And then that's what they have. Now, like, so with this Ascend 910, see, it essentially eliminates any sort of like ban on, um, GPUs for China, like there's uh, nothing that they can do to. I mean, they can do everything to to get around the bans, right? The bans are are essentially worthless, like overall, because they just use these chips, and then like all it does is hurt Nvidia overall, right? But like uh, the only people that 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 um are hurt from the, this overall are Nvidia. It's like the Nvidia is the biggest loser within this, right? And then so pointing that like. Uh, again, like I pointed this out like two years ago, it, it, it shocked me that it took so long for like the market um, to actually catch up to these things. I didn't. Th I think I thought it would take um, less long than two years for uh, Hawaii to come out, right? Because. If you look at uh, GPU manufacturing, you have about, um, let's call it like, I I'm going to say like 15 to 25 um, AI GPU manufacturers that exist within the world, right? Which is, is a significant number compared to GPU manufacturers. And GPU manufacturers, you essentially, you I mean, you have two at the end of the day, right? Like uh, NVIDIA and, and AMD are the two big ones, right? And then, uh, and it's really NVIDIA within the, and NVIDIA has a, uh, almost complete monopoly when it comes to GPUs and, uh, AI technology, which is why you all, always and often see the two associated with each other, which is why NVIDIA's stock has blown up, et cetera, right? Because everyone saw that particular part of the equation and that particular part of the equation isn't hard to see. Oh, NVIDIA built themselves a monopoly onto the back end of GPUs. Which, okay, cool. You, you can understand that and understand exactly how NVIDIA built their way onto that, right? But. So these AI chips are the next new invention and, and, and beyond. So an AI chip, an AI GPU is different than an, an a GPU. Right? An AI chip is not a GPU uh, overall. It's an AI chip. Uh, and then so it's a completely different concept overall than GPUs. So, so GPUs just kind of like... Um, were there along uh, for the ride <laughs> accidentally ended up being um, what is needed to drive forward AI uh, innovation overall, right? Like uh, that's kind of how it worked out was that like um, GPUs were just in a very fortunate position to, to be um, kind of accidentally the best technology that, that would be available for the technology at this particular moment in time. But what has shunk, uh, come out of that and, and 
uh, spawned from that is AI chips. And AI chips don't follow the same logic and the same reasoning, right? Like uh, AI chips are not like NVIDIA does not have a monopoly on AI chips. Again, there's we'll call, we'll call it 15 to 25 worldwide manufacturers on AI chips. So no one has a monopoly on AI chips, which is it makes it a brand new industry, right? We're, what we're seeing here is the uh, dawn of a brand new industry and, and one that I, I've been predicting now for two years. Again, I'm, I'm shocked that it has taken this long, as long as it has, for this particular particular situation to, to come about and to uh, manifest itself. And the situation is only going to get worse overall for NVIDIA, right? Uh, it, because the the bottom line is is that like GPUs are very hard to manufacture. That's uh, like the bottom line. And uh, so CPUs are the hardest to manufacture, right? When it comes to to CPU manufacturing, you basically, I mean, like for all intents and purposes, you have one major CPU manufacturer in the entire world, right? TSMC, uh, Taiwan Super. Um, can, metal conductors like uh and and like uh, that's like uh they own the worldwide market with regards towards the cpu production right uh and that's just the, the the way that it is uh and then with gpus again you have two um and then so like you cpu there's one gpu there's two but then with ai chip there's we'll call it 15 to 25 and then you can see that big difference there, right? And that the market is not pricing that in and hasn't been pricing any that in anywhere into this equation for the last two years, according to the market. Uh, it's one and two, right? And NVIDIA is uh, the one of one when it comes to GPUs of uh, and AI chips and, and GPUs and AI because they have the, the monopoly of GPUs and AI. But again, they don't have the, the monopoly when it comes to AI chips and AI. Uh, and that's what you're seeing here very explicitly. Um, that's why, like, to me, if anyone that's in the know of these things, this headline is not at all surprising. This is like the, the least surprising headline that I could see coming out um, within the last two years, but I see a lot of people today are floored, shocked by this headline. Like, how could this be? Uh, you know, like, uh, I, I don't understand how the world could operate this way. Like, it, it's all physics, mathematics, uh, and, and not fairies, unicorns, and Harry Potter. <laughs> That's the entire world as it exists. Like, not just AI as the technology, but a, like technology as a whole. Uh, if you just look at it from those perspectives, again, it's very easy to see these things two years ago. I start to see people jumping on board with regards towards making AI chips and Hawaii is one of them, right? And why do, why do these companies get on board? Because NVIDIA has, very specifically, because NVIDIA has a monopoly, right? It's just simple market dynamics. I don't need to know anything else about any of these companies. I know how market dynamics works. And then at the point where I know that NVIDIA has a monopoly in the status quo and that monopoly can be disrupted, then it's going to happen and it's just a matter of time. And then here we are and then now that monopoly has been disrupted. Uh, and it's only going to get more and more disrupted. <laughs> like I would, like I, I mean, I'm not a financial advisor. Listen to Jim Cramer over me, right? Like listen to whoever you want within that. Uh, if you make uh, like I, like don't take any financial advice off of me whatsoever. Uh, but I would sell Nvidia hard and like uh, just you know pointing that out very specifically. I can't state that enough. Like it, like Nvidia does not have the monopoly that you think that they do. Like uh, I, I mean, there's, that's just the bottom line of this. I didn't make this. A it's just how the equation is. Um, if you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.